Welcome back guys to another short episode during my sprinter build. Today I'm going to show you a Kabunk, which is a product from a guy here in the UK. Um, he does ship internationally, I know that, but um, it's a twin bunk, so it gives you two extra beds um, and you do not put a single screw in your van. Um, in fact, I'm going to, and I'm going to show you that in a minute, but you needn't. Um, I've gone for the twin version. There are single versions available. Um, and it's simply, you put one leg that's got a rubber foot in one side up against your B pillar. And it comes with two of these hooks that are adjustable. So you can adjust the height. The side door kit comes with, um, again, an adjustable foot. If you didn't have a side door, obviously the, the your flooring would come right to here, but this allows for the extra depth to go into your footwell. Um, and this is basically 2020 extrusion, um, aluminium, that sits up against your B pillar. It comes with Velcro pads to begin with. Um, so it just stops potentially that left and right. But I can tell you, I've had both kids up there and it doesn't move. Uh, you question why, and you think it should, but it does not move. Um, and they were jumping around, getting up and out and all sorts. I probably am going to purchase some black 2020 and fix them permanently because I don't think they look too bad. And in fact, I'm having a curtain go across here to shut that cab off. And then obviously we'll have something in the windows so by the time the curtain is tied back there, I'm never going to see them. This bunk will work with any setup where the front seats rotate fully. That's how they operate. You actually throw the bars over the front seats um, and then hook, hook them in. I'm going to show you how to put it together. Right guys, I'm going to show you how to put together the Kabunk twin bed in my Mercedes Sprinter. Please bear in mind that these uprights have a Velcro pad. They're not a structural Velcro pad. Um, they simply would hold them in place to stop them doing this simply while you erect it. Um, I've got carpet on my B pillars, so I can't use them. And I think I'm gonna screw those bars on permanently. Um, so if there's a bit left and right, that won't actually happen to you guys. So. Start by putting a upright in each corner. And then once you've got your head around which one goes first, you simply grab the bars and throw them over the headrests. Um, and then the rest pretty much puts itself together. So, probably should have mentioned, you rotate your chairs to begin with and then you pull them as far back into the back of the van as possible. That's so they're saggy and you're not trying to put something on that's too tight. Now, when we push the seats forward to the front of the cab, that's when it all tightens up and starts to make a bit more sense. Voila, that is it. Once you get your head around which pole goes where, um, that is pretty much it, ready to go. Uh, and like I say, you can make fine adjustments up and down on these hooks and tightness is done on the recline of the chair. These are 299 pounds, I believe. Uh, the guy is on eBay. It is a kabunk. And I've got to tell you, it works really, really well. Uh, these poles are telescopic. So yes, this is a sprinter, but it's not only for a sprinter. I'm sure you can use them on a T5, that kind of thing. A little bit narrower, but we've had the kids up there and they think it's absolutely great. 
So that is a kabunk, a twin bed, quick, simple solution to add two extra beds to your Mercedes Sprinter, Volkswagen Crafter, and probably any other van. Um, hopefully you like it. Any questions? Um, because time will tell how I get on with it. Obviously that was just a trial run. Any questions, uh, leave them below. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.